Hello, welcome to the channel. Today we are taking a look at Absolute Swamp Thing by Alan Moore, Volume 3, the third and final volume in this particular collection. Now, price wise, we're looking at about $100, 131 Canadian, £80. I got mine on Forbidden Planet, so it was £55 there. If you want to go and check that out for yourself, I'll put a link in the description. So there's no dust jacket with this particular volume. Instead, we get a slip case. Um, it's a standard slip case, nothing special about it particularly. Very nice artwork of Swamp Thing on the front, although different to the, uh, the other two volumes. And on the spine, nice big lettering, Swamp Thing by Alan Moore. And again, on the back, some very nice artwork of Swamp Thing and Abbey. I would also say that if you get all three volumes, the spines do all kind of match up into one design. So there's the slip case. Let's put that to one side. Now the volume itself, I don't know if you can actually tell this. I hope you can. It is a cloth bound cover, as are the other two volumes. I don't know why they decided to do this, but I'm glad they did. It's very nice indeed, and it feels like it, it feels like cloth. I don't know how else to describe it. Soft cloth. It is very nice, really, really nice cover on it. And on the front, again, we've got this image of Swamp Thing, and it says Swamp Thing down there. The spine, we've got this metallic green lettering. Absolute Swamp Thing by Alan Moore. And we've got the contributors. And then we've got the three down here and DC Black Label. And then there's the back of a little image at the bottom. All very nice indeed. So what about the volume itself? What have we got inside? Well, one of the things we've got inside if I can find it, is not that. Uh, we do have a place ribbon in addition to everything else. So other than that, what about the contents? Absolute Swamp Thing by Alan Moore, Volume 3. In 1983, a revolutionary English writer joined a trio of trailblazing American artists to revitalise a long-standing comic book icon. By the time they'd finished their work four years later, Swamp Thing by Alan Moore, Stephen R. Bissett, John Tottleben and Rick Vike was universally recognised as one of the handful of titles that defined a new era of complexity and depth in modern graphic storytelling and their run on the series remains one of the medium's most enduring masterpieces. Now DC Comics is proud to present an all new vision of this landmark achievement comprising three deluxe hardcover volumes Absolute Swamp Thing by Alan Moore debuts completely new colouring for every page crafted exclusively for this definitive collector's edition by legendary colour artist Steve Oliff of Akira and Miracle Man. This final volume concludes Moore's prodigious run and includes the issues Swamp Thing 51 to 64 and a bonus story from DC Comics Presents 85. This collection also features Alan Moore's complete script for Swamp Thing number 60, as well as behind the scenes material from the original artists. In this new Absolute Edition, Swamp Thing returns from Hell, only to learn that Abby has fled to Gotham City, where he runs afoul of Batman, Lex Luthor and the Gotham City Police Department. Then, Swamp Thing travels across the galaxy, where his consciousness has been hurled. Trying to find his way back to Earth, he stops over on Thanagar, home of Hawkman, Ran, home of Adam Strange, and encounters the Green Lantern of a world of sentient plants. So there we go, that is Absolute Swamp Thing by Alan Moore, 
Volume 3. If you're a Swamp Thing fan, if you're an Alan Moore fan, definitely a collection to keep an eye out for. That is it for this video. Until next time, remember, hit the thumbs up below, and I will see you in the next one.